Hey guys, Ori here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Map Grade 3 Module 1 Lesson 6 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Mr. Hannigan puts 12 pencils into boxes. Each box holds 4 pencils. Circle groups of 4 to show the pencils in each box. Alright, so groups of 4 means 4 in each group. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we circle groups of four. So now we have three groups of four. So three times four is 12, and 12 divided by four equals three groups, which means Mr. Hannigan needs three boxes. Number two, Mr. Hannigan places 12 pencils into three equal groups. Try to show how many pencils are in each group. So we can do like an array. We can do three go groups, so one, two, three, and we'll use circles to represent. And there's um, four in each group, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So 12 pencils into three go groups. So three times four is 12, and 12 divided by three groups equals four in each group. So there are four pencils in each, in each group. Number three, use an array to model problem one. So we kind of already did that up here, but we can draw it again right here. So yeah, so three groups times four is 12, and 12 divided by four equals three groups. So the number in the blank over here, the three represents the amount of groups. No, three represents groups, so like groups, because it's three groups. So, the amount of groups. Because in the array, you can see there's three groups or three, three rows. And then B, three times four is 12, and 12 divided by three equals four. And the four represents the number in each group, because it's four in each row. So the number in the blank, four, represents the number in each group. All right, next page. So number four, Judy washes 24 dishes. She then dries and stacks the dishes equally into four piles. How many dishes are in each pile? Let's draw an array, 24 dishes, and stacks them into four piles. So that means we have four groups. So one, two, three, four. And then we can do until we reach 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, and then, okay, that one's like a bit messed up. But it's one, two, three, four. So yeah. So how many dishes are in each pile? 24 divided by four groups equals one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means four times six is 24. So there's six um, dishes in each pile. So what is the meaning of the unknown factor and quotient? Well, the unknown factor is the number trying to figure out and the quotient is um, the answer we get when we do a division problem. So if we realize the four is representing the number of groups and the six is representing how many group are in each group. So the meaning of it, they're representing the total. So they represent the total. And number five, Nate solves the equation blank times five equals 15 by writing and solving 15 divided by five. Explain why Nate's method works. So his method works because in those two equations, we both um, have blank groups of five, when in that case of three groups of five. So his method works because his In 
about equations. Um, it, it has three groups of five. So then you can use that to figure it out. Number six, the blanks in problem five represent the number of groups. Draw an array to represent the equation. So number of group would be three because the blank, then the blank would be three. So this is one, two, three groups of five. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five, three, four, five. So three times five is 15. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.